what's going on guys drones and dogs here and welcome back to the channel uh we're here with this craig interceptor drone okay the craig interceptor drone with camera is what it's called i picked this guy up from big locks bang bang big locks bang bang yeah big locks man it's very rare that i pick up a drone from a retail store because nine times out of ten a lot of these retail stores like walmart and a few others they they tend to charge they overprice for a lot of these little toy grade drones man they tend to overcharge this guy was at big locks and it was originally selling at 50 dollars and when i got there they had a ton of them on clearance for like 30 bucks man so i figured for 30 bucks i would take a chance now i wouldn't I wouldn't spend 50 on this guys is there a lot better drones online that you can get for 50 bucks you know what i'm saying you can get a hubson h502e for like 45 bucks and that has a gps and everything in it with a 720p camera this guy just has a little pinhole camera but hey if you need like if you're out and about and you don't want to wait online you don't want to do the amazon thing or the bang good thing you just want to go out to a store and pick up a drone and be ready to fly ready then and there Man, if you have a big locks in your area, check this guy out, man. 30 bucks. I've flown it a couple times yesterday, and it wasn't too bad. The camera wasn't too bad. The camera does have sound, but I will be drowning out the sound. I will just add music to the video that I'll post for this review. But the camera does have sound, and it's a pretty decent camera. They say it's a 0.3 mega megapixel camera but it might be 720p it says 480 but i don't know it's a pretty decent camera for what it is you know what i'm saying 30 bucks it does have brush gear motors has prop guards already installed with one little screw right there and i will be taking those off and i'll probably be taking this landing gear off and that camera off for a little sport flight and my follow-up review of this craig interceptor drone so without further ado man we're going to go over the transmitter really quick oh do need an sd card for the back of the drone okay i have a formatted 32 gigabyte sd card back there it goes up to a 32 gigabyte you can't put anything higher than that so 32 gigabyte or lower it will take and there's no on and off switch so as soon as you turn as soon as you plug in the battery of this guy the quad it's on and it's a micro low c connector micro low c connector right there and it's a 380 milliamp hour battery now let me double check that but i'm i think it is a 380 yes 3.7 volt 380 like i said there's no on and off switch as soon as you as soon as you plug this guy up the drone is on so we're not going to plug it up yet until i go over the transmitter really quickly all right so we're just going to leave that like that here's the transmitter it reminds me of that sema style the xbox style transmitter okay none of the buttons are labeled it's another thing i don't like three AA batteries in the back that's what you're going to need not included okay has two bumper buttons okay this is going to be your flip button press this and then give the right stick of input and it will flip all right this button right here which i wish it would have been your speed button and it's traditionally your speed button it's not it's one key return in headless mode so you press it in your headless mode then you long press it and it's a one key return i don't know why they put that button up there but hey then you have your throttle stick spring loaded so that's altitude hold your pitch and roll stick and another thing i found out by accident flying this last night if you press this in it will shut off the motors so guys be careful do not accidentally press this button in especially if you're way up high like i was last night i was high i accidentally pressed this button and it just dropped i actually thought that the signal cut out but it actually it didn't I, I found out this was an emergency shutoff button so don't press that unless you're getting into trouble and you need to shut the motors down all right all right okay let's go over these all these billions of buttons that are non labeled that i had to remember okay all right so this little up arrow right here is your speed button all right these two buttons right here are your yaw trims this little circle button in the middle is actually your photo button this down arrow right here is your video button and also if you long press on the photo button that will calibrate the gyros of the quadcopter make sure you're on a flat level surface when you do that and then this little middle button on this side doesn't do anything and then all these little buttons around here these arrows are your traditional trim buttons for your pitch and roll stick all right and then you have a power switch right here and that turns on the the transmitter and then that's pretty much it so hopefully 
I went over everything for you guys. I had somebody comment last night, said they lost their instruction manual and wanted me to go over the transmitter. So this one it was especially for you, my guy. Make sure you check out this little overview of the transmitter and hopefully this helps you out. But without further ado, we're gonna get into the flight review of this Craig Interceptor. All right, all right. So let's go ahead and get into this. Let's go ahead and get into this. I'm gonna go ahead and turn my transmitter on first. Turn that on. Then I'm gonna go ahead and plug in the quadcopter. Okay. Quadcopter is plugged in. Another thing I wish, on and off switch. Why don't that, all drones should have the on and off switch, man. I don't know why they do this little thing where you gotta plug it in and you gotta hurry up and get, get it down and go. I hate that. I feel like you're rushing me, drone. All right, so we got that guy in there. Let's do a up, down. Now we're bound. The lights went solid. Look like we got blue LEDs in the front, red in the back. Nice, nice. Let's see, let's long press this photo button. Okay, the lights did flash, so now let's calibrate it. And our heading should be set that way, right into the sun. Okay, so let's go ahead and, um, now there is no takeoff, no automatic takeoff button with this guy so you just have to throttle up okay so we're just gonna throttle up and we're in the air oh let me go ahead and start the recording <coughs> excuse me so this is our lowest rate and i'm facing the sun i want to face this direction this is our lowest rate not much pitch about five six mile per hour breeze this morning and i'm giving it full pitch into the wind in the low rate so the breeze is coming directly towards me it's going directly into the wind that's full pitch into the low rate now of course when i turn it around it's going to come back a lot faster because it's coming with the wind watch this see now i'm not touching anything look that's the altitude hold right there rock solid altitude hold wow for 30 bucks i'm kind of impressed with that though I will say that, I didn't expect that at all. That's rock solid. Like I said, it is blowing this way with the wind, but I could trim that out. back said it is blowing with the wind look at that oh my goodness look at that there buddy now it's starting to blow that way a little bit look at that man trying to trim it out a little bit all right. Sun is starting to come out. So we're in the first rate. Not too much pitch as you can see. Yaw rate is fairly slow. Look at that, that's the yaw. Let's go ahead and click up into a higher rate. 
two beats. So now we're in a high, a second rate. We're in a higher rate now. We're in a second rate, intermediate rate. A little bit more pitch. Now look, I can fight into that wind a little better. Look at that. In the second rate. There's our yaw. Yaw has increased. Look at that. In the second rate, making you dizzy. It has increased. Coming with the wind, second rate. Nice visible LEDs underneath. I don't know if you can see them on a the camera, probably not, but they're nice and visible. So this is forward flight in the second rate. And it's not too bad. Very nice flying rate. Taking it up there. Let's go into the third rate, highest rate. So this is fighting into the wind in the high rate. Look at that, no problem. Coming back in the wind is gonna be a lot faster. Look at that. Ooh, look at that sun. Fighting into the wind, full pitch in this highest rate. Look at that, that altitude hold is rock solid. I'm flying it with one hand, look at that. Altitude hold is rock solid. On this little thing that's kind of cool so let's bring it down a little closer and check out some flips on this guy wow Wow, wow, ooh, lost a little altitude, look at that. Don't go too crazy on the flips or lose a little altitude. You gotta give it a little break between flips, I guess, huh? Look at that, so it, it does, it does, it looks like them flips make that barometer kind of funky and it does lose a little altitude when it flips, but that's all right. I'm gonna go ahead and uh, long press, stop the recording. So hopefully the recording saved. Let's see if I can take a couple photos. Took a couple photos.
Not bad though, for 30 bucks. Sun is beaming in my eye right now. I'm trying to get it to face toward me and take a photo. Back on up, back on up. Took a photo. Wind is starting to get on it a little bit. Wind kind of picked up. Do I got flashing LEDs? Yep, we got flashing lights. So yeah, I kind of felt like a little, a little bit of a short flight with this guy, but we got flashing lights. There is no landing button, so you just kind of have to just bring it down, and you just have to just throttle all the way down once you get close enough to the landing spot. Just bring it down and just throttle down. Nice little landing. So, all right, man, that's the Craig Interceptor. Pick this guy up at Big Locks on Clarence. Clarence for 30 bucks. Not a bad flyer, man, for what it is. I'm your boy, Drones and Dogs. So don't forget to like and subscribe. I will post the footage from this guy. I appreciate you guys for joining me this morning. Kind of a gloomy, mo gloomy morning. The sun is starting to come out. So I will be out here with some more quads later on today. But thanks, you guys, for watching. Don't forget to like and subscribe. Catch you guys in the next one.